Hi, my name's Nina Dutter and I'm one of the National Medical Directors Clinical Fellows at the RCP and I'm here with Professor David Oliver, a consultant geriatrician and clinical vice president. And we're here today to talk about a new resource from the RCP, medical care. So can I start by asking you what is medical care? Well, for the past 15 years, the Royal College has had a resource called Consultant Physicians Working for Patients, and it's had several iterations. And that resource has been designed to explain for each specialty what the doctors do, the roles they play, the training routes into the specialty, and how the services they work in are designed. Mm -hmm. But up until this point, it's always been a paper-based resource. And what's different this time is that it's a web-based interactive resource and we've expanded the focus on outcomes that matter to patients. We've had more patient and public involvement in designing the resource. Mm -hmm. And although we've kept a lot of the traditional elements, we've also kept a focus now on population medicine, on what goes on beyond the walls of the hospital, on wider system leadership. And we've tried to have more of a focus on the future of each specialty, where it might be going over the next few years. Who do you see medical care being aimed at? Well, a few constituencies. The first is, if you are a uh, consultant leading a service locally, or maybe a clinical director, a medical director, or a medical manager, or maybe a commissioner of services, you want to understand what each of those specialties do. Mm -hmm. There are 31 specialties within the college, 28 of them feature in the resource. Mm -hmm. And if you want to know more about how diabetologists work or respiratory physicians work, mm -hmm. the resource can help you. More widely, uh, national bodies like NHS Improvement that are looking at quality and variation and efficiency, regulators, whether it's the General Medical Council or the CQC, and of course the public want to know more about what their doctors do, what services can provide. So it can be a useful public engagement tool and a tool for the media to better understand what we do. And I think there's a variety of constituencies that might all, might all find the resource useful. It's also helpful for individual consultants who are doing their own job planning and looking at the requirements for their own service mm -hmm. because there are two sections to the resource. One is around designing services, the other around developing positions. So there's, there's clearly a lot of content on the, re on the resource. Um, how was that put together? Who are the authors? Well, the important thing is that the content was first and foremost designed by the specialties themselves. Mm -hmm. We gave them a standard template with structured headings so we could get all the information we wanted, but then we allowed the individual specialties to source all their own content. So hopefully everything that's on there is something that's owned by the individual specialties. But beyond that, we then had an editorial board with a strong patient and carer focus, mm -hmm. with people who were medical and divisional directors. And how do you see medical care being relevant in today's NHS climate? Well, as you know, at the moment we're suffering severe funding crises in the NHS. We've got major workforce gaps, for instance, 41% of consultant posts were unfilled at interview last year, mm -hmm. rising expectations. And then beyond that, whilst the resource is shrinking, we have big expectations from policymakers around seven day service provision, around more integrated care, mm -hmm. uh, more care without walls, you know, outside the hospital boundaries. And in all those contexts, having a resource that sets out for each specialty what good looks like, what a model job, job plan is, uh, what the elements are of a good service is all helpful. The other thing is there's a big drive now around variation in processes and outcomes mm -hmm. and around NHS efficiency given the financial squeeze and you can't really improve what you can't measure or understand. So having a resource that describes in some detail what we do for patients in every specialty can be helpful in that agenda as well. And are there any plans to update the resource in the future? Well of course the beauty of having a web-based resource is it's a rolling resource that we can tweak and modify as we go along. It's inevitable that people will have one or two things they want to change when it hits the public arena, but we have a built-in review date in a couple of years to go and look at whether we yet again need to repurpose mm -hmm. things, tweak the format, or update the content. Mm -hmm. So we regard this as something that has to be updated every two or three years, but now it's web-based, we can do that iteratively and continuously. And are you looking to get any feedback on the site? We absolutely are. Um, firstly, we've already had some very positive feedback. We're planning to do some formal user testing, including at the Medicine 2017 conference in Manchester. But the site has a facility for online feedback from anyone who wants to give us feedback. Mm -hmm. And also, I'm very happy to take uh, comments by email. And we want to use that feedback to improve the next version of the resource.
Thank you for sharing your perspectives on medical care. I thought I'd end with a non-medical care question. Uh, so you're now coming up to six months here at the RCP. What have been your highlights so far? Well, it's been a very different role from the other roles I've played in my career in medical leadership because for the past 10 years I've been the Secretary of the British Geriatric Society, then the National Clinical Director and then the President. So I've been kind of the go-to person for care for older people. And I think the difference with the college is you're looking at 31 different specialties. So some of the outward facing work, dealing with parliamentarians, dealing with the media, getting involved in current campaigns around medical workforce, um, junior doctors careers are all meat and drink for me. But what I'm still getting used to is being the accountable officer for a whole range of uh, college work streams around accreditation and audit and future hospital work. And no longer am I the expert, I'm very much on a learning curve, finding out what lots of other people with real expertise um, do. But the college has proved a fantastic place to work with excellent colleagues and I look forward to coming here. Great, thanks David.